So we want to bless God and it's a symbol that in Easter it took us from a location to another location with another dimension. So we had the Royal City, the Women's Conference, we went from glory to glory and we recognized that this is the hand of God, this is the end of God, this is the grace of God. So if someone recognized that it's the grace of God that transport us, can you still give a round of applause? for the Lord and as we want to celebrate God today we invite you to prepare your uh, tithing offerings so that you can bring to the house of treasures so your offerings and uh, tithing don't forget to prepare the Holy Communion and because someone in your surroundings needs to be blessed, we invite you to share the link of this service to a maximum of people. And then, Yann, can, what can we wish them? We wish you an excellent service in this presence. See you later. For an average adult person, we get 60 beats per second in our heart, distribute the oxygen in everything we need. Something that never stops. 24-7, 24-7. What if just during one moment it would stop beating? Life on earth would stop. But because he loved us, he gave himself for us. He's called Jesus Christ. Praising with the timbrel and the dance, praising with the sound of the trumpet, praising with the psaltery and the harp, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name together. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalter and harp. Let everything that hath praise, praise the Lord. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psalter and harp. Let everything that hath breath, praise the Lord. Let us exalt his name. Oh, magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, be joyful, all you people. Oh, be joyful, clap your hands. Be joyful, all you people. Oh, be joyful and clap your hands. Be joyful, all you people. And clap your hands. Oh, be joyful, all you people. And clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Praise him. 
Praise him. Praise him. So great, O oh Lord. When I search the universe, all the stars that you created, oceans in the sea, everything reveals your majesty. So my soul wants to shout with all my heart. I want to sing. Oh God, you are so great. You are everlasting, powerful. You reign with majesty. Oh God, you are so great. Everlasting, powerful, you reign with majesty. You reign with majesty. When I remember that you created me, that you reveal yourself to me that for me you created everything everything reveals your goodness to me so then my soul wants to cry out with all my heart I want to sing oh God you are infinitely great, almighty, eternal, majestic King. Oh God, you are infinitely great, almighty, eternal, majestic King. Sing it. Oh God, you are infinitely great. Almighty, eternal, majestic King. Oh God, you are infinitely great. Almighty, eternal, majestic King. We celebrate the majestic King. Lamb of God, you've paid the price for us. You sacrificed yourself for us. Then this morning, we want to honor you. We sing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to you, our God. Can we still take the time to contemplate the Lamb of God? Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to you, Lamb of God. 
You've been sacrificed. You sacrificed yourself. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. We keep singing. Alleluia. Alleluia. Honor and glory to the Lamb of God. You didn't look at yourself, but you sacrificed yourself. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh God, you are. You are so great. We are contemplating the King of Glory, the one that's strong and powerful, is in this place. Thank you for the God that you are. We contemplate you. We honor you. Lamb of God, Majestic King. Oh God, you are infinitely big, everlasting and powerful. Majestic King, oh God, you are, you are so great, everlasting and powerful, Majestic King, one last time, oh God, you are, you are the Majestic King, you are the glorious God, we honor you, Majestic King, oh God, you are, Infinitely great, everlasting and powerful, oh majestic king. God is so big. This is what we're talking about. When I read the scripture, we understand that Jesus is the message of love sent to humanity. This is only a story of love. Yeah, hello. My wife is going to give birth to a child. Come quickly. I'm blocked in a small hotel. Okay, calm down, sir. We are going to send you some, someone. Here is my address. Please come quickly. We've come to talk to you about a story of love, to express our gratitude and to show how much God has, so lo has loved us so much. God, Father, has never abandoned you. He sent Jesus Christ who gave you everything. The Holy Spirit reminds me that I am forgiven out of love. It's a love story. God the Father never abandoned you. He sent Jesus Christ who gave you everything. The Holy Spirit reminds me that I'm forgiven out of love. It is a love story. It is a love story. The fruit was hidden. And the serpent trapped us. Man wanted to hide. That's the beginning of sin. We were prisoners of addiction, doomed 
to the curse. But God had anticipated a savior called Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And God so loved us that he sent his beloved son. Then Yahweh went up for three pieces, for 30 pieces of silver, it was sold. He healed the sick. He came to offer me a way to heaven. But his people rejected him, for he bore the sword of truth. God the Father has never forgiven you. He sent Jesus Christ to give you everything. The Holy Spirit reminds me that I'm forgiven out of love. It is a love story. God the Father never abandoned you. He sent Jesus Christ who gave you everything. The Holy Spirit reminds me that I am forgiven out of love. It is a story of love. His blood was shed. The lame slain. The line of Judah was humble and brought low. He accepted suffering, bore horror, trespasses. He was crucified, but he rose again. Death could not hold him back. He had foretold that three days he would return. Hallelujah. But he is the Messiah. For he fulfills all the prophecies. Now it's up to you to believe. Don't be like Thomas. Don't try to see before you believe. But keep on believing until he returns. Keep on believing in his love. God the Father never abandoned you. He sent Jesus Christ to give you everything. The Holy Spirit reminds me that I'm forgiven. Out of love, it is a love story. God the Father never abandoned you. He never let you down. That's why he sent Jesus Christ, his son, to be sacrificed for you and me. This is a love story. God the Father never abandoned you. He sent Jesus Christ who gave you everything. The Holy Spirit reminds me that I am forgiven out of love. It is a love story. He's been mistreated and oppressed. He never opened his mouth. He never knew sin, but he made him become sin for us so that we would become just justice of God. Jesus Christ went to the cross and his blood was shed. So the penalty that gives us peace fell down on him. So let us listen some testimonies of people who experience the blood of Jesus. So after a hard uh work day i was back home and i felt weak i felt very bad and i felt like more i was going back home more i was getting weak so i decided from there to go to the hospital so at the emergency i collapsed and i yeah I fainted so a little bit later I woke up in an hospital room and the nurses told me that I had some uh, internal bleeding and the situation got so worse that I went to the recovery department so they told me that it was very very bad because I, I lost a lot of blood so that I went to the hospital at the right moment because if I was uh, too far away from the hospital 
uh, would have died. One of the things that the doctors told me after they diagnosed me is that I lost a lot of blood and uh, there's a rate that they checked in my body and uh, it decreased too much. So in this situation I was in, I was under 8 grams per liter. They told me that in such a situation, it was not possible to stand. It was a challenge and it was a miracle. So from there, they uh, wanted to make some blood transfer and they were talking about it. So at the end of the day, it was not done because my situation was steady. So after I went uh, out from the hospital, my doctor told me that my situation would never allow me to go back to work. So it, it's been even beyond what I could expect and imagine because he told me if my situation according uh, my blood does not evolve, I will never go back to work again. So I'm in a situation, I'm in a hard situation, difficult situation because it's like a double sentence. So my health was a stake and my uh, work was a stake. And uh, as far as I can remember, uh, I fought for it. So, and just to, uh, as a conclusion, the doctor told me, even though he gave me uh, a treatment to uh, better my uh, blood, he didn't expect uh, uh, my hemoglobin level to um, increase. So I've been overwhelmed and I went back home and decided to uh, spent some time in prayer. I was aware of the power of the of uh, the blood of Jesus Christ, and when I uh, started praying and persevered in uh, prayer, I received. I was convinced to um, participate to the Holy Communion. So this is something that I used to do uh, regularly, three times a day, morning, at noon, and evening during two weeks. So a few weeks later. I went back to see my doctor and I've been surprised to see his reaction when he checked my uh, blood uh, status and turned back to me and told me, sir, what, which treatment have you taken? What, what are you talking? What are you talking about? It's not possible. What I'm reading now is not possible. And he let me know that with the treatment that he gave me, it was not possible to see my hemoglobin level uh, go back up to 10. And now he told me at this moment that what he reads in my analysis is that my rate that was under 8 in a bit of time went back to 14 grams of so when he, he told me, I was overwhelmed because something happened, something I could not expect. That's true that I used to pray, but I never expected that thing happen that quickly. So I went back from, I, I went out from his office with a feeling of uh, thankfulness for the Lord. Everything went back in order. I went back to work. I received all the authorizations to uh, exercise and I am thankful uh, to God and I know there's a power in the blood of Jesus and I have experienced the blood that was shed on the back of uh, Jesus so that I can dominate on any sickness past present and future my name is Benny and I've experienced the blood of Jesus so I, I've I've been diagnosed with a white sickle cell when I was in the build, the womb of my mother. So um, my body used to hack. Everything was very painful. So I used to um, take lessons from the hospital. I, I used to miss out on school and they um, a lot of kids used to mock me. So uh, in my family, I felt like uh, well, it was not easy to always be at the hospital and always make my parents 
leave school to go to the hospital so those pains are very uh, strong it can manifest um I, I felt like somebody's hitting me but why me is not my big sister uh my little brother has it but i have the, the strongest uh form of white sickle cell so i felt rejected in uh, alone in my situation so the f i was always at the hospital and i used to take a lot of painkiller because i could not stand them i didn't not even remember what one name was i just wanted my pain to be uh, calmed down so when they used to talk to me about the lord um they used to tell me that god is good i rejected god until i was 19 years old then i started to feel a little bit depressed i've been suffering for 19 years what's going on and i was accusing god you were born with that you're going to die with that so i used to pray and shout out of despair in my room lord if you exist please get me out of here then i'll meet a god in 2020 and then i arrived at icc and i started following uh different uh, trainings and i started to understand who jesus was and what he has done for me and little by little this training came and unlocked some fake reason that i had then i understood the blood of jesus on each of its aspects and then i understood what he did for me at the cross so i used to feel uh, some pain even after accepting Jesus Christ and when they were strong I projected those pain on Jesus who was at the cross uh, at the cross so when my leg was painful I used to preview Jesus who was suffering from me at the cross and this is what helped me this this is, is not mine because it conquered at the cross and when I accepted Christ. I s used to feel those pains, but I had a little bit less of Christ than where when I was young. So I started doing things that I would have never done. So I'm a nurse. I've been able to serve him at the Madagascar campaign. These, those things, I was not able to do them a few years back. So uh, little by little, I was so wounded. So I've been uh, set free from sadness, rejection, everything that had put me down. God helped me to straighten up. So there's something I got to tell to someone that's going through the same thing is God has created some projects of peace for you even before the disease was here. So the ability as put inside of me, you and us is much bigger than pain and it will give you no matter the trials and the pain to do what is expecting you to do and he loves you even though uh, it's uh, painful but it can uh, overcome this pain for my good for your good and for the good of other people We celebrate the blood of Jesus by which we have victory. Receive the glory, O Lord. We are thankful. What a big mystery. You require blood to make us clean. Le sang d'Abel 
Abel's blood cried out from the ground, but your blood cried out for mercy. I will have faith in your love. I put my trust in your blood. Oh, what a system. You require blood to clear our names. Oh, how your precious blood was spilled so we could come before you without shame. So I will have faith in your love and I put my trust in your blood. The blood that drips down, Lord, let it shower. The blood that protects, it will never lose its power. The blood that drips down and cleanses my soul. The blood that stains me white as snow. The blood that stains me white as snow. We celebrate your sacrifice, your perfect sacrifice, O oh Lord. Nobody else than you could give his life for us to be redeemed. Seven times your blood has been shed in Gethsemane. Your blood, you've been whipped on your back. You suffered so that we could have eternal life. The crown has been burst in your skull, in your head. Oh Lord, I want to give the grace back to you because you've been faithful. Your hands and feet have been pierced so that we have eternal life and be reconciled and they pierced you. The cross is all powerful and the blood of the Father that flows into our veins forever. It will be powerful. Forever. It will be all powerful. The blood of the Father. For now and forever be enough. It's gonna be enough. It's gonna be enough. In the life of your people, you still powerful. He has set us free. He reconciled us. He is still all powerful. The cross that trips with his blood will now and forever be enough. And the Father's blood now flowing in us will now and forever be enough. The cross that drips with his blood will now and forever be enough. And the Father's blood now flowing in us will now and forever be enough.
My name is Matthew and I've experienced the blood of Jesus. Uh, I grew up in a Christian and Muslim family with my parents, my five brothers and sisters in an apartment. We were f five of us in the same room until my parents sleep. And after that, I stayed with my father and my five brothers and sisters and we still shared the same room, so I had no intimacy. And uh, I've been uh, abused sexually by one of my uh, brothers, so I knew it was not normal. I, I wanted to talk about it, and nobody believed me. And from that moment on, I lived in denial. In denial. And uh, my mother remarried with his uh, current um, husband, so she took us back, and this went it stopped. So I was a teenager. I had a bad, I was a bad teenager because it was hard for me to accept what happened. So I used to hear the word of God and I had this rejection because to me, God was responsible for that. So I lacked of love because uh, the first time I talked about it, nobody believed me. So and the fact of being in a Christian family, uh, did not believe that it was not possible because I thought he had given up on me. So I started smoking when I was 15 years old and my acquaintances uh, started to arrive. I used to uh, go out and lie to my parents. I used to, uh, st uh, I started drinking and uh, I had, I was uh, celebrating and I got raped by a friend of mine and this episode was um, really hard because I've tried to push the person back. Uh, I had to uh, fight and do something that traumatized me because I used to shout and when I shouted, no one heard me. So I lost my virginity and I started to collapse. So I was the only responsible for that. It was because of me. I was ashamed and I felt dirty. And this is the starting point of uh, life on uncleanness when I gave myself to alcohol because I wanted to forget about what happened because I thought I was responsible for that. So I used to hear voices, uh, it's your fault. I was dead from the inside. There was no life anymore inside of me and I needed every day to fight those uh, thoughts uh, every day by... Uh, taking some drugs and uh, from there I uh, f tried uh, to heal all these wounds. I was uh, depressed. I was so down that I tried to kill myself. I tried to take some pills so I tried to commit suicide but it didn't work. Maybe there's something I got to do on the earth. So uh, during uh, social networks, a lot of uh, people used to spread the gospel on the internet and in the street, uh, preaching, saying that Jesus loves you, uh, transforms. Maybe it's true. Maybe it really heals. And this is when I started to seek God and I started to read the word of God. And it's uh, from there that I saw that Je Jesus was loved. This is my first message, the first personal message that I received. And I felt loved, whereas I didn't even love myself. So I was uh, uh, looking for a, uh, a youth a camp, and I saw a retreat that was organized by ISIS Surgery. And I go there, and the first thing I felt it was the atmosphere. And during this weekend, I experienced the presence of God. And I've been baptized in his love. So where I didn't feel love, I felt um, I had no value. I, I felt I had a lot of value. I felt loved by God. I felt that God was operating and was uh, healing all my wounds. So when I understood uh, the hard work of the cross and the love of Jesus, is I understood that everything I was, um, to filling a void with a drug, etc. It's been replaced by a love that's unconditional. So I've been restored to testify, no matter what they did to me, no matter what I went through, all those things, God has loved me as I was. So I understood the girl I was. I am valuable. All the voices that used to put me down, telling me that it was my fault, you should be ashamed, your body is dirty. So all those uh, words have been replaced 
by the word of God, I say that I am the apple of his eyes. So he loved me and there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ. So I uh, understood that. And by the grace of God, I've uh, forgiven what was not uh, forgivable. And without the cross, it would have never been possible. Uh, before I knew uh, the Lord, I realized that in my family, there was something special. Everyone was into witchcraft. And when I was a teenager, I uh, started doing it. So I practiced uh, tarot astrology. And when I was 18 years old, I started uh, to be uh, blocked. So when everyone is supposed uh, to um, move on and have an active life I could not make anything concrete so when I would uh, find a job as a student they used to fire me so when I started uh, to study it was like a, a cycle of um, being blocked so on the personal side I started to experience some uh, terrors while I was sleeping nightmares sleep paralysis so I could not sleep anymore nobody was able to explain to me what uh, I was going through I went to see the doctors I did a lot of exams but at the end nothing so I started asking myself because of all these things wouldn't it be a spirituals Maybe it has something. It has something to do with a lot of cycles that happened in my family. Maybe uh, it's uh, touching me. So I was uh, psycholog psychologically uh, down, and a friend of mine told me to come to the church, and she took me to our church. So at the beginning, I was not looking uh, for the Lord for uh, the love and his romance but i wanted to be delivered i don't want the spirits of uh, my family i don't want witchcraft anymore the relationship with god i was not interested into it so okay i'm going to be delivered but that's it i didn't want to go further so i uh, started to uh, seek god and come to church and during summertime when the real city was uh, inaugurated i registered to uh, the uh, PCNC it uh, really helped me to be firm in the world understand the, the word of God my identity of Christ because uh, before I was uh, very scared when I used to pray I was uh, very scared so I followed those uh, training about the blood of Jesus it allowed me in, a, in my personal life to stand up in prayer and my I went to another dimension, I had a zealous, I was confident, and I understood because of the blood of Jesus, because of what happened at the cross, I could not suffer, because even though I was uh, suffering at the moment, I understood that even though I was uh, suffering, if it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, I know that I would be unblocked, so before I used to think I would die but now i used to speak the blood of jesus and i know that it's going, it's going to end because god didn't die for that so what's interesting in mid-september i've uh fasted the first time so uh i, I used to pray with uh, the blood of jesus and now uh, certain things started to unblock and within one week the next Monday, they called me. I signed a contract during the week so I could find an apartment. God blessed me on that level, and I was always stressed out, had some um, headache. I was always uh, thinking, he set me free. He set me free, and it is from that moment on that I felt what was peace today i feel really good thanks to jesus he brought this peace in my heart and when i th think when i remember how it was one year ago i am a product of uh, jesus thanks to jesus i move uh, forward i'm not blocked anymore Can you stand up for those who are for those who are able to do so? Let us 
all turn to Yeshua. Can we take the time to give him a round of applause? Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. You are the light that gives life. Creator, word of the uncreated God. Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. The breath of life is in your nostrils and your majestic voice gives birth to the deer. Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. Alpha Omega, be the beginning of the hand. Our creation calls you Adonai. You are on Yeshua Amashia. Yeshua Amashia. You are the visible image of the invisible God. You have defined infinite love. Yeshua Amashia. We proclaim Yeshua Amashia. In this place we proclaim Yeshua Amashia. The name of our, of our Savior. At the mention of your name. Every knee shall bow and every tongue, every tongue confess Jesus. At the mention of your name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. At the mention of your name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess Jesus. At the mention of your name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess Jesus. At the mention of your name, every knee shall down on heaven and on earth. Let the God of glory have his way. Who is this uh, God of glory? Jesus Christ, Yeshua Amashia. He sacrificed his life. How couldn't we give the grace back to you? He said in his word, whoever invoked his name will be saved. And that's the name of Jesus that we come to help lift this morning. He sacrificed himself for him. He didn't look at the sovereign position, but he gave himself for me and you. We say Jesus. Let's proclaim Jesus. The most glorious name. Oh, Jesus. We lift up his name this morning, Jesus. Can you lift up the name of Jesus this morning? Is the reason why you're here today because he gave himself for you. So come and lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus, a thankful heart this morning, your sacrifice of the cross for us. Oh yeah, Jesus. Oh yeah, Jesus, Jesus. At the mention of your name, Every knee shall bow in his presence and recognize that he is the only master of everything. At the mention of your name, every knee shall bow. Sickness will bow, oppressions bow. 
at the mention of your name can you lift him up all knee bow in front of uh, Yeshua Mashia at the mention of your name every knee shall bow can you say it again at the mention of your name I want to talk about the Jesus Christ that I know the one I want to lift up this morning at the mention of your name every knee shall bow every tongue confess at the mention of your name every knee shall bow in his presence at the mention of your name every knee shall bow and every tongue confess at the mention of your name every knee shall bow at the mention of your name every knee shall bow and everything confess at the mention of your name Jesus every tongue confess Jesus Hallelujah. At the mention of your name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess Jesus. At the mention of your name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess Jesus Christ. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords the Almighty God at the mention of his name he is Alpha and Omega he is the Lord of Lords he is the Almighty God he is the one that we want to claim celebrate in the name of Jesus can we acclaim him he is our Easter he is our Easter, and as he is our Easter, we want to come close to the table of the Lord right now. Who's happy to celebrate Easter? Who's happy about it? Wow. We want to bless his name. We, we can... Darkness has back down before the, the work of the cross the lamb has been slain and the blood has been shed for me we want to go to Proverbs chapter 8 verse 22 Proverbs 8 verse 22 Easter, during Easter we celebrate the victory, the irreversible, irrevocable and total victory of Jesus Christ over Satan. We celebrate his death, burial and resurrection and we go to another era where we go from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. If I'm talking about you, say Amen. But Easter is also is a demonstration of wisdom of a God who was always in advance but God didn't know that Adam would eat of the fruit how could you ask him this question the Bible say that you know the end before the beginning so Easter is a solution of God look at what Proverbs 8 verse 22 says God said the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way it's talking about wisdom and wisdom is uh, talking the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way before his work of old I've been established from everlasting from the beginning before there was ever an earth I was given birth to when there was no 
abyss before mountains were created before mountains were created i was born he had nor created uh, earth when he created heaven i was here when he drew a circle at the face of the deep when he established the cloud above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep when he assigned the sea to the sea its limit so that the water would not drink is coming when he marked out the foundation of the earth listen to that i was beside him as a master craftsman and i was daily delight rejoicing always before him who's talking now who do you think is jesus christ the word of god and he find himself has been wisdom but god said did god create jesus because jesus is god but what is he saying wisdom the meaning of wisdom is to fix problems so god is saying even before the word has been made even before genesis chapter 1 verse 1 i've created the solution before problems will come this word is says even before problems will come i've created a solution so any problems comes from a solution and not the opposite this is what he says god created me first one day god was about to leave the throne and come in the body called jesus in which there would be christ and it would give his life for all sins past present and future of humanity he was going to restore everything he started and then he finished the movie and they went back to the beginning and he said at the beginning god and at the mark time the sun come came on the earth and lived as a man he didn't cheat he was hungry thirsty he went to the cross and his blood has been shed seven times and third days uh, he showed that it was in advance so, so that's why 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 41 to 49 that's why it's uh, written the first man Adam was a living soul if you say the first man it means it was not the last but the last Adam became a uh, vivifying spirit but what is spiritual is not does not come first what is spiritual does not come first what is animal comes first and what is spiritual comes first the first man was taken from the earth is uh, from earth but the second one comes from heaven he's talking about me and you uh, my point is when God sent Adam Adam was not the real one it was uh, set up for Satan the real one was Christ in which me and you were that's why we are conquered by the blood of by the grace of God so we want to commemorate the blood of Jesus and his resurrection through the Holy Communion that we are going to lift up now let us lift up the bread and let us pray God we want to thank you because you're always in advance you've shown your love your power your wisdom your passion for us your divinity and uh, we want to participate to the Holy Communion in this uh, a special day with a sincere heart has children aware that is not just a symbol but while we are uh, praying this uh, bread we are holding becomes your body and we want to take it with awareness let us hit the body of of, of our lord let us lift up the cup of blessing and let us say thank you lord for your blood that was shed seven times your blood your beard have been ripped up the crown your back has been whipped 39 times your hand and feet pierced 
and to finish your heart as being pierced so while we are praying this uh, fruit of the vineyard is not a natural ingredient and we are aware that it's become your blood let us drink together the blood of our Lord Let us lift up our voice and let us start praying our God. So while His blood is um, flowing in our bodies, we want to give Him the glory. We want to bless His name. We want to thank Him for the blood that was shed. And all the angels are praising His holiness. All the angels are praising Your holiness and we are joining the angels to praise his majesty to you jesus christ be the glory be the praise let us sing glory and power strength and praise to the lamb to the lamb to the slain lamb to the lamb to the lamb to the slain lamb somebody make some noise for the lamb so, can somebody celebrate the one that was in advance Jesus Christ hallelujah wow thank you Lord for your grace so we want to take the time to thank God it's a symbol as we are celebrating Easter we are remembering the fact that Jesus Christ came out he took us from location A to location B the day of Easter he took us and he made us enter the royal city and we want to bless God because it's each of our seeds and as pastor even used to say we're a living stone of this building and we want to give thanks to the Lord by watching this video and uh, remember uh, what God has done because this is the hand of God. After a few years of faith and determination, the body of Christ have. Uh, this is by the grace of God that uh, one year ago we entered the royal city. It's been a one year we've been at the Royal City, so each uh, a Sunday uh, afternoon, everyone gather in the lobby to uh, chit chat. The Royal City gave us more space to exchange and to share a unique experience. So we've been at the Royal City for one year. Each uh, morning, each uh, star is able to get some food at the cafeteria. So, <laughs> we've been at the Royal City for one year or so. Of course, uh, we've been able to take advantage of the restaurant called Irise to exchange be between brothers and sisters. Uh, how can we talk to you about this restaurant that allowed us? to meet one another we've been at the real city so of course children have a dedicated space to discover the word of god and take advantage of their sunday mornings so with their own space children take their parents to church they can fulfill themselves fully We've been at the Royal City for one year, so of course we give thanks to the Lord for all those prayers of uh, 48 hours. Passover, thank you, Lord, for all those prayer campaigns and programs that we've had at the Royal City. We've been at the Royal City for one year, so of course we had uh, services in the magnificent atmosphere and some big concerts and how could we thank the Lord for all those celebration services conferences seminaries and concerts that we had in the main auditorium of, of the Royal City Wow what a grace
We've been at Doral City for one year, so of course we had some dedicated space for people who visit us and people who just got converted. So we needed some space to welcome all those who join us at Doral City. So we've been at Doral City for one year, so of course we've been able to organize trainings after services and be a source of uh, blessing for the town hall and for local businesses that could organize different events. We've been at Oriol CD for one year, so of course we have five levels of parking, lots to enjoy our services on site. We've been there for one year. We just want to thank God for what He did in the middle of the Frankenfold world. If you are thankful, stand up and acclaim Him. Stand up and acclaim Him. Stand up and claim him. Father God, Easter is the expression of your love. If the, it's the expression of your love. And before moving forward, there's this song that I want to sing. I don't know about you, but I feel the love of God is sweating and be still remember this morning, this occasion to celebrate Easter. More, more love. I remember more power. I remember your presence more of you in my life uh, it all started at history more power more love more power more of you in our lives more love more power more of you in our lives more love i remember your power more of you in my life i want to remember i want to remember father more power i remember your power i celebrate your presence more love, more love, more love, more love. I want to thank you for your love manifested by the, by the gift of Christ. I want to celebrate your presence. I don't know about you, but someone, there's at least 120 testimony to remember your power. More love, more love, more love, more love, more love, more power, more power, more power in my life. I want to worship you with all my heart. I want to worship with all my soul. I want to worship you with all my strength for everything that you did and I want to worship you I want to worship you with all my soul to, this morning I want to thank you for everything that you did because you are my God you are you are my god before history god was not your god he was the god of israel before easter he could not be your god because my Bible say that we were strangers away from god we didn't have the right to talk but through easter those who were away he took them closer those who were lost he found them those who fell down he strengthened them up because now since history I want to tell you that you are my God 
You are, you are, you are, you are my God. You are, you are, you are my God. You are my God. Is there someone that wants to acknowledge Him as your God? If you acknowledge Him as your God, my brother, my sister, claim Him. You are my hero. You are my husband. You are my shield, my fortress, my happiness. You are my God. You are my God. Father, we want to thank you and bless you. We want to praise you. We want to give thanks to you because you are my God. You are my God. You are my God. Yes, Lord. I can call you Father from now on. I can call you Abba Father. I can say Father. I don't need to go to Jerusalem anymore. I don't need to enter into the temple of Solomon. Wherever I may be in the world, I can call upon you and say, Lord, Father, you are my Father. And I can enter into your presence. What a grace. Grant us the grace to be aware. Grant us the grace to abound in thanksgiving and never to forget what we did for us on the cross. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise him, praise him, celebrate him with me, celebrate him with me. Because you are, you are, you are, you are my God. You are my God. Let's praise him, let's celebrate him. Yes, Lord. Welcome to Empire Christian Center. Welcome to Empire Christian Center. Is somebody delighted to be in God's presence? There are a lot of things that need to be said about Passover. We're going to try to express that through witnesses, testimonies, songs. We can commemorate Passover to see what was going, what happened on the cross. If there was no cross, there would not be any version of you. So bless God for the cross. Get out of religion. Get out of religiosity. Pact is not a religion feast. Pact is not a religious celebration. It's a celebration where we commemorate Christ's triumph over death. It's not a religion. It's the arm of God that was outstretched through the men to deliver us from the tyranny of sin. So celebrate him once more. Celebrate him once more. We bless you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to thank God. You know the Bible said that God so loved the world that but put your name in the place of the word. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God had so God love Ivan Castanu so much. God. The, the pastor is quoting the scripture in Italian language. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. This morning we just want to express our love and gratitude to God who partook in the seven days of prayer. We were numerous to partake in that days of prayer, to, to partake in the seven days of prayer, seven days for the seven spots where the blood of Jesus was shed. And we closed that moment with a watch now vigil a passover vigil somebody who have been who have attended the vigil easter make some noise wow god did so much we cannot thank we can we cannot never thank god we cannot 
help but thank God we want to thank him for what he did on the cross we want to thank him for what he did during the seven previous days we want to thank him for what he did in one year the royal city is a miracle people are asking how come we are still here and the site is still ongoing how do we do to maintain such a building which is so costly and while at the same time we are opening new churches worldwide my brother my sister is the finger of God it's the finger of God it's the finger of God now the discernment of God's finger causes many people you and I maybe not every people not, not but there are many of us who bring uh, we keep on bringing our tithes and offering our special offering because we feel privileged to be living stones of the building that god is building we are grateful to be living stones this building are stones but within these stones my name is written on it i'm a living stones on this edifice every church in which we are is a living church it's a living stone through my generosity i become a, a stone from the church of Christ, Iglesia. We just want to praise God for that. Somebody say amen. So we're going to pray. Lord, we want to say thank you on this special day. We want to bring a special offering for a special gratitude. For Passover, we recognize that everything that we have does not come from us. It comes from you our source your words declare that every excellent every perfect gift comes from above it doesn't come from our employers it doesn't come from our job but from the father of light in which there is no variableness and there is no shadow of turning we are only stewards of the things you give us if we have provision it's thanks to your grace and for all those those grace we want to thank we want to thank you we want to bring something special to say thank you to god thank you father thank you for easter thank you because in your love and your wisdom you want to enable the royal city to be inaugurated you enable us to enter into the royal city on the passover day to celebrate a new beginning one year later we are still here we thank you we lack words we lack of words to thank you and each one of us who brought our contribution who contribute to this project is a living soul it's a living witness it's a living actor it's a living sustainer it's a living career it's a living relay is a living witness of a written of a, a history that has never been written in the francophone world and we enable the french speaking people to be proud because you demonstrate that good things could come out of the french Francophone world for the glory of your name, and you brought us, you select us as a living stone. It is written that there is a record, there is a book of remembrance because of our generosity. We thank you because our names will be written into that in that book. And for all of us who keep on bringing our titan offering, we keep on contributing to these financial needs. You are going to keep on writing our names in the book of remembrance that we remain open and you our families our grandchildren are going to benefit for that and the name will be written in the book of life in the book of remembrance rather and our posterity will never lack of anything as it is written i was all i never seen the righteous being forsaken by the lord neither his posterity begging bread none of our family members we beg for bread none of our family members will go to hell none of our family member is going to finish in lack in poverty because as a living stone we would have been partakers and the writers of the history that have impact on our life and all the people who are in the boat of our life our obedience can change everything our consecration can change everything our generation can our generosity can impact many people and we thank you because you grant us the grace to be living witnesses of the real the real tangibility of god's love thank you for our special offering this morning to the glory and the adoration of your name it's in the name of Jesus the Christ that we have prayed, Father, with thanksgiving. 
Amen. For those of you who are connected, please text the word gift donation to the WhatsApp number on the screen. Beloved, we bring this morning without constraint or regret. We bring with joy because God loves a cheerful giver. If somebody happy to bring, my brother, we've been here for a year. It's a miracle. One year here, it's a miracle. And therefore, we want to celebrate the Lord. Let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. What a joy to f to find ourselves in this place to commemorate the victory of our Lord on the cross. As we sing this new song, we're going to proclaim the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Your blood is stronger. Your blood is stronger than tradition. Your blood is stronger than principality and powers. Your blood is a weapon. It's a powerful weapon that wipes out all condemnations. There is no there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We say stronger than tradition, stronger than principalities. Your blood is a powerful weapon that wipes out all condemnations. Hallelujah. Our King has risen. What a grace. We say one more time, stronger than tradition. Your blood is a powerful weapon that blots out all condemnations. Your blood is a powerful weapon that blots out all condemnation. Louder, louder, declare it with us. The blood of Jesus is stronger than tradition. Your blood is a powerful weapon that blots out all condemnations we want to celebrate our king let's celebrate our king in this place i was in the mary clay in the mud of sin and you took me in you washed me clean you gave me your name my sins i have no past anymore my sins were blotted out i'm free and i can praise him your blood has redeemed me on the cross your blood redeemed me you have accomplished everything your blood has redeemed me let's celebrate him let's celebrate him in this place on that cross on that cross you have finished everything yes your blood has redeemed me you have restored me on this cross you have restored me i declare and decree that it, all is finished that it is finished your blood has redeemed me you have restored me you have qualified me you have restored me on that cross you accomplish everything i was in the clay and I, in the love of sin you took me in you washed me clean i have no past i'm a conqueror i'm free and i want to praise you because your blood has redeemed me has qualified me has restored me on that cross hallelujah can you celebrate your god by dancing celebrate we celebrate the victory of our king on the cross he paid it all jesus paid it all he did it all for you and i hallelujah his blood your blood has redeemed me your blood has qualified me your blood has restored me on that cross on that cross you've finish it all jesus your blood 
has redeemed me, has qualified me. Yes, Lord, you did it all for me on that cross. On that cross, you did it all. One more time. Your blood has redeemed me. Your blood has qualified me. Your blood speaks louder in my life. On that cross, you restore me. And it, it is finished. You have accomplished everything. His blood has restored me. His blood has purified me on that cross. You have accomplished everything. Hallelujah. 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 If somebody rejoice in the morning, I want to rejoice in the God of our salvation in Jesus Christ. I want to rejoice in the God of my salvation. Don't worry about my voice. It's all about my heart. I want to rejoice in the God of my salvation in Jesus Christ. I want to... Uh, he, he made your feet as those of the deer. He makes you walk as a deer. He makes you walk on higher places. So sing unto him, Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus the Christ, to the one that knew you before the foundation of the world. He loves you. He loves me. Hallelujah. I want to rejoice in God's my passion, my blesser, the love of my life in Jesus. The love of my life. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know about you. <laughs> I don't know about you. But this week, I went to get my picture before I got saved and when I look at my pictures I didn't say who is this I say what's that make that exercise when you go back home take your picture before your life in Christ and you say what of this and I look at my picture my of today my today's picture I'm not where I need to be that's true but the man that but the man from today has nothing to do with the guy from my past. You may not be where you want to be. Maybe your life is still in const uh, construction site like mine. But you know what? The construction site looks like a disorder. But it's not a mess. It's not a mess. The mess announced chaos. But the construction words announced the building of God, the edifice of God. And we always remember the edifice rather than remembering the construction site. Look at the royal city. Look at the royal city. You're going to be remembered like a great edifice. Can somebody shout a great amen? Nobody remember the, the pain of the birds. We always remember the child that got, birth, that got born. And when we look at the hand of God over our church, that was God is going to do with each one of us because he's, that's his grace. Because we want to keep on blessing him and offering him a sacrifice of praise and a church of celebration. We want to do it with our sister who is a sister from the home. She's passing through Paris because she's going to perform in the Zenith uh, on the 10th of April. But she decided to stop by to worship the Lord with us. So we're going to celebrate and, adore and worship our God with our sister. Let's praise God Let's celebrate God for our sister Deborah Lukalu. You're right to praise the Lord. I said you are right to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Can you exaggerate for the one that died for you on the cross of Golgotha? That was for Deborah Lucaro. Can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace? He left his throne for you and I. Can you exaggerate in praising him? Let's exaggerate for your God. Oh 
One year in the royal city, one year of glory. I've been here, coming here for the fourth time. Every time I've been received and welcomed like a princess. Royal City, you are magnificent. Thank you for being a, ref a reference point for the body of Christ. Thank you for sustaining and supporting this vision. I take, I seize this opportunity to wish you a happy Easter, happy post Passover because Jesus has risen everything that was dead in you everything that was dead in your life is going to resurrect is going to rise again today everything that was dead in your life in your finances in your family is going to raise up again in the name of Jesus lift up your two hands and worship him this morning he, he deserves your praise this morning hallelujah for he is glorious and worthy to reign the, the Lamb of God. We lift up our we lift up our voices to praise him, to worship him. For he is glorious and worthy to be praised. The Lamb of God upon the throne. We'll raise our voices. To worship him, the, to worship the Lamb of God that sits upon the throne. Yes, he is glorious and worthy to bring the sovereign Lamb of God. We raise our voices to worship him, the Lamb of God upon the throne. Glory. Sing from the bottom of your heart. Glory unto the Lamb. Let's sing glory, glory, glory to the Lamb, for He is glorious and worthy to reign the Lamb upon the throne we raise we lift up our voices to worship and adore him the lamb upon the throne he died for you on the cross for he is glorious and worthy to reign The Lamb of God. He is sovereign. Can you lift up both hands? We lift up our voices to adore Him. Is that somebody who wants to worship Him with your own words? Can you worship Him? Lift up both your arms and worship Him. Thank you for the cross, Jesus. Do we have a worshiper this morning? Is there any worshiper in this place? Is there someone who can worship him this morning? For he is glorious. And worthy 
to reign. The Lamb is sovereign. We lift up our voices to worship Him. Worship Him with your whole, with your whole heart. Worship Him sincerely, for He is glorious. He is glorious and worthy to reign. The Lamb is sovereign. He will lift up our voices. We we'll lift up our voices to worship Him. The Lamb upon the throne is sovereign. With hearts open, we we'll lift your heart. We lift your heart with lifted hands, our open hearts. We pray, say, Lord, we lift you high, we lift you high one more time with lifted hands, with open hearts, wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. With our lifted hands and open hearts, wide as op as the sky. When we pray, Jesus, we lift you high. Lift up your hands. Sing unto the Lord with open hearts as wide as heaven we lift up the name that is above all names lift up both your hands lift up your both hands he deserves your worship he deserves your adoration he deserves your praise say lord we lift up your hands we lift you up higher we lifted hands declare Lord, we lift you high. We lift you high. We our hands raise up. We lift you high. And we declare, Jesus, that you are higher. We lift you higher. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. I don't know what you're going through, but declare. Let every other name fade away. Say to Jesus, Jesus, take your place. Take your place. Jesus, take your place in your house. Say, Jesus, take your place. Take your place in our families, in our finances, in our business, in the life of our children. He reigns. He reigns. Let all the other names fade away. Can you sing it with all your hearts, with faith? Declare it. Let all the other names fade away until there is only you. Only Jesus reigns in my house. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. One more time. Let all the other names fade away. Diseases, barrenness, poverty, all the challenges you're facing day and night. Let them fade away until there is only jesus only jesus reign only jesus reign jesus take your place jesus take your place
He reigns. Jesus reign. You reign. You reign. Say it. You reign. You reign. Can you sing it unto him? You reign in my household. You reign on your throne. You reign. You reign. You reign in my house, in my family, in my business. You reign. My, my children, my children, we know you and we serve you in my household. Only Jesus, you're the only one that reigns. You reign. Jesus, you reign. Only Jesus reign. You reign. You reign. Sing it one more time. Declare it. You reign. Sing it one more time. You reign. You reign. I will sing of your goodness. Of your faithfulness. I will declare louder. Louder. What you have done for me. You need to testify. Testify. One more time. Declare it. I will sing of your goodness and of your faithfulness. God has been wonderful to you. You know it. I will declare what you have done for me and my family. I will declare the glory of your name. I will speak of your goodness and of your faithfulness. Sing it on. I will say it louder. I will declare louder what you did for me. I will proclaim the glory of your name one more time. I will speak of your love. God loves you this morning. You are here because of God's love. I will speak of your goodness. I will say aloud. I will proclaim the glory of your name. You told me to count on your goodness, Lord. Say it. I didn't hesitate. No. And you prove your faithfulness. Oh, my daddy, you truly amaze me. You told me to count on your love. The father of the orphans, I did not hesitate. Now you prove your faithfulness to me, my father. You have amazed me. I will speak of your goodness. Sing it with all your heart. I will sing of your faithfulness. I will say aloud what you've done for me. I will proclaim the glory of your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can 
make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the most responsible father. He is the most responsible father. Sing it right. You are the father. You are the most responsible father. Just sing a cappella. You are the most responsible daddy. Amen. You need to sing it properly. Say it. You are the most responsible dad. Hallelujah. You the most responsible daddy. Has God been wonderful to you? Look at the sky and declare you are the most heaven, the most responsible father. Listen, beloved, listen. When I sing the father of the orphans, I never sing anything that I do not master because I'm, I am lost my father. I'm often, I know what I'm talking about when I declare that he's a responsible father. Look at your life. When you said you are the most responsible father, just remember the situation that made you cry. You thought it was over for you and you are here. You singing, sing it properly. Believe what you sing. Believe, remember where you came from. You are the most responsible daddy. Amen. Declare it. You are the most responsible father. You took care of me. You took care of me. You took care of me. Declare it. Declare it. You took care of me. You care for me. You took care of me. You are the most responsible father. You took care of me. Hallelujah. You are the most responsible father. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him he is the most responsible father. Look at your neighbor. You don't know my story. Say it. He is the most responsible father. If your neighbor does not understand, you need to change the neighbor. He is the most responsible father. Amen. Look, look behind. Look at your neighbor. He is the most responsible father. My friend, you do not understand my praise. You don't you do not understand what I've been through. You don't know my story. He is the most responsible father. Hallelujah. He, you are the most responsible father. Amen. Amen. Oh, make some noise, make some noise. Are we praising Jesus this morning? Wow. On va remettre We're going to sing another song. Shalabala 
All the angels praise His Holiness. Universe cry out His Majesty. We sing glory and power, strength. We sing glory and power, strength and worship. We sing glory. We sing glory. We sing. We sing. We sing Glory and power, strength and worship. We sing as a sign of thankfulness for the way that your hands rested upon us. Your faithfulness is courted us. Your grace abounds. We sing. Strength and worship for your faithfulness that kept us, for your hands that escorted us, for your love that chose us. We sing and sing over and over again for the Passover, for the grace to commemorate Passover, for the one year of ICC at the Royal City, one year in the Royal City is the result of your outstretched hands, of your strength hands, of your multiplied multiply grace. We sing, we sing. The Royal City is a message sent to the Francophone world and to the utmost part of the world. The darkness, darkness couldn't prevail. Darkness back away, back darkness lamentably back off to let God's glory enter in into the francophone world and to spread throughout the utmost parts of the world with singing glory and power strength and praise we are not where we need to be as your servant Yan said when we look at the yesterday picture we're not where we used to be there is a hand that has escorted us there is a potter that shaped us a glory that has accompanied us a hand that has selected us and chose us before the foundation of the world we couldn't we cannot silence ourselves it's not an ordinary day it's the day of celebration a resurrection day of the death burial and the resurrection of our lord jesus is the day of glorification of the magnificent the magnificence of glory of jesus the christ and the angel stood at ease and sung to the lamb of god with singing to the lamb of god glory and power strength and praise we sing glory and power oh lord we are lining ourselves with the hearts of the angel to say hooray hooray bravo to the lamb of god glory be to jesus the christ to the faithful witness in heaven to the firstborn among the dead to the lamb that was slain honor glory unto the lamb of god we sing with the angels inspired by the holy spirit we sing we sing we sing we sing we sing, we sing. We sing glory and power, strength and praise. We agree, we are in agreement with heaven to recognize that the Lamb upon the throne is worthy to receive honor, glory, preeminence, dominion, supremacy, sovereignty forever and ever. Oh, 
to the lamb to the slain lamb the lamb that sits upon the throne is worthy to receive honor glory wisdom strength and thanksgiving from generation to generation forevermore no one no one did what jesus did for us on the cross no one accomplished what jesus accomplished on the cross no angel no archangel no saint has ever accomplished what the son accomplished for us he is the image of the invisible god the firstborn from among the dead he is the prototokos he is the one who die for humanity you raise again he has risen from the dead he was buried and rose again and this morning we're not celebrating we're not celebrate we're not only celebrating jesus resurrection we're also celebrating the fact that he was not selfish but when he died he resurrected us he raised us with him and he made us he did not only raise us up he also resurrected us and have us to sit with him together in heavenly places that means my brother that your sister for eternity is already over your history the end of the movie of your story has already accomplished in the invisible realm and he came back and he came to take you by the spirit so that what has been accomplished in the invisible realm becomes visible in your in the natural in your life to the to the architect to the builder to the buckler to the hero to the savior to the brain of redemption to the slain lamb to the lamb that was slain to the lamb to the lamb that was to the lamb that was slain to the lamb that was slain to my high praise my adoration and my praise my celebration my thanksgiving to the one who took my place to the one who gave me his place amen Amen. Amen. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. Father, we thank you. We thank you. There is so much to say. There is so much to say about Passover. We want to thank you for this day. You enable us to celebrate Passover, your triumph over, your triumph on the cross, the triumph of God's life over death, the triumph of God's righteousness over our sins, the triumph of love over bitterness, of goodness, of goodness over wickedness, of joy over sadness, the triumph of holiness over filthiness, the triumph of the truth over lie, the triumph of humility over pride, the triumph of patience over impatience, the triumph of temperance over lack of self-control the triumph of faith over fear the triumph of peace over anxiety and fear of faith over doubt we celebrate your triumph within human beings we no longer obliged to be slave to sin we no longer have to put up with the tyranny of sin on soul the tyranny of sin over the soul and the body and 
you took our place you took our condition to give us your place your condition your divine condition your royal condition your glorious condition you gave it to us you took our poverty to give us your richness you exchange our guilt for your acceptance you give us your innocence you give us freedom not because of we deserve it because you took our place on the cross no one ever did for us no religious man no man no founder of religion has ever accomplished for what you have accomplished for humanity you didn't do it for christians it is written for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes believes in him whosoever whosoever it's an open door to all human beings whosoever is not a word addressed to christians Whosoever is an invitation to all the addicted, the thief, the fornicates, the slanderers, whosoever is a stretched hands of God, it's a divine invitation to a banquet, to a divine banquet, inviting all the human beings, regardless of your condition, regardless of your past, regardless of your shortcomings, regardless of your flaws so that whosoever believes in him he didn't say whosoever have a uh, whosoever have a good behavior is be, is perfect god is not looking for people who had who have good behavior god is seeking people who need who needs him who accept his straightforward hand god doesn't ask you to be perfect he just asks you to believe that jesus is perfect and that the only the only reason for you to escape judgment and hell is not because of your behavior it's because jesus is because of the divine exchange jesus who took your place honor glory and and praise to the one who took my place honor glory and praise to the one who took my place who gave me his place he took my condition of sin of fornicate of of murderer in my thoughts he took my condition and he gave me his condition he gave me what he was he gave me his righteousness blessed be the name of the one who did who performed that works within us and who gave us his spirit on behalf of the father so that whatsoever whatsoever was already accomplished like pastor yan said it's all accomplished the best version of yourself is already finished the edifice of the edifice of your life is already finished there is a edifice that god created in the invisible realm it's a glorious building that edifice my brother is not the royal city it is you it is a perfect version of yourself you have been predestined in christ jesus for the good work that god prepared in advance for you to perform them there is a picture of you that is already finished is the image of god god's word god's perfection god's glory god's honor god's power god's splendor just as he is so you are already it is finished it is finished there is a picture of you there is a house of yours the divine architect has already accomplished and finished building the house the portrait has been finished it's already completed it is already finished there is a version of you awaiting you there is a portrait of you awaiting you there is the expression of you awaiting you what you are today is not what you're going to be manifested in the future so in order to make sure that the portrait that is already completed that the house that has already been designed by the architect in order to make sure to to ensure that that house that the construction work that you are today looks like the finished work of god he sent forth his word and he sent forth his holy spirit within you so that his spirit works within you so that he produced in you according to his due 
that he does and according to his doing so that he's fill, he fills you and strengthens you if you receive his outstretched hands so that what you are already now through the communion the communion and the fellowship of the holy spirit becomes visible not in the invisible world but in the natural and visible world so that the nation sees your life so that nation sees your good works so that the nation sees what you have become what do we be manifested tomorrow then we see what you're going to be manifested tomorrow so that you'll be a a witness so that God's glory be manifested through your life and through my life so that you become a living epistle he sends forth the Holy Spirit so that you become a witness somebody who makes God visible in his generation and in his era he sent forth the Holy Spirit so that the Bible be read through you, so that God's love be read through you, so that God's wisdom be seen through you, so that God's honor, power, authority, character, humility, goodness, and God's power and authority of Christ be seen through your life. He sent forth the Holy Spirit so that he is no longer even my brother and sister, even if there is not a Bible, he sent for the Holy Spirit for your life to be the open Bible. So that even when we close the, the Bible, when we close the Bible, we see God's operating through you. God be seen through you. God's continuity and the word of God's continuity be seen through you. The scriptures being seen through you and through me. That's God's agenda. That's the reason why he sent forth the Holy Spirit. That's the reason why the blood of Jesus was shed. It's not for you to, it's not for you to be a religious just creature is for you to become an imitator of God a beloved son of God who walks in generosity as the example uh, as he follows the example of Christ oh Abba Father we grateful for your invariable wisdom thank you for the portrait of myself that is already prepared in the invisible realm bring me to the conformity of you bring me to enter into the finished portraits Bring me to de to manifest the design complete of mine and the work to perform the work that you have already destined. Take me, take me, cause me, cause me, Lord, cause me to manifest the best version of myself. Cause me, Lord, to be to the conformity of Christ. Help me to be your resemblance. Help me, help me to embrace my true identity in Christ. Help me to embrace what you have already prepared, what you have already accomplished and achieved, because everything is already accomplished since the resurrection. Bring me to the re dimension of the resurrection. Bring me. Bring me to that level. Bring me. Cause me to enter into the dimension that is already finished cause me to reflect you to glorify you help me to embrace the dimension that you have prepared for me I beseech you Abba Father cause me cause me to enter the dimension you prepare for me help me to reveal the resurrected christ help me to resemble my elder brother jesus the christ cause me to experience the dimension that you have on you have in store for me cause me cause me to manifest that dimension that you have in store for me cause me lord to manifest that dimension if it's your prayer you're not obliged regardless of you are if you are connected online you cannot be staying watching with folded hands your prayer need to be accompanied with your fervency is that somebody who believe in that dimension is somebody believe in the finished edifice on the best version of myself christ fully formed in me in my generation and in my era Cause me to look like the faithful witness in heaven to Christ, to the Messiah, to Christ the Shiloh, the Messiah. 
caused me to look like him. Amen. 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 Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We praise you. We honor you. Blessed be your name, Lord. No offering, no worship will ever be enough to equal, to match the intensity of your love, the greatness of the price you pay. Blessed be the name of Jesus, of the Lord, our Redeemer, our Passover that was slain for us, the hero that saved us. Blessed be your name, Lord, Holy Spirit that was sent by Jesus on behalf of the Father and that dwells in us. Thank you for this day. Thank you for leading us. Thank you for caring us, for assist us, for assisting us, for making us instruments of your will. Thank you for helping us to zoom in the camera on Jesus to help us to honor Jesus, to reflect Jesus, and to resemble Jesus, to be in his likeness. Help us lead this church celebration until the end of this day, until the end of this week, until the end of this year, until the end of this decade, until this end of this century. Lead us until the Christ be fully formed in us and until the return of the bridegroom that will come back to pick up his church. The Lord, we're not going to miss your return, your second coming. Blessed be the name of the Lord that prepare us and that is going to make us faithful. That will help us to remain faithful until the end. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Is there somebody who wants to praise the name of Jesus? Clap unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory be to God. So in 15 minutes, I'm going to talk to you about the Passover. I'm going to talk about Easter. 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. But. Honey, we're going to welcome people later on. I just want to bring an exhortation, a thought that is in my heart because on this day of Passover, it's important to commemorate Passover, Easter, and say what is the true message behind Easter, what God wants you to to, to to retain what God wants you to learn. Let's praise God for the choir. Passover is not a religious feast. I want you to understand that Easter is a spiritual feast. I didn't hear you say amen. It's a feast that is celebrated in God's kingdom. Easter is a religious feast. Feast. God is not a God is a spirit. Men wrap God in religion in a box. They put God in a box. You cannot put God in a box. You cannot restrict God. He is the owner of the universe. He does whatever he does. He does whatever he wants. The universe he was created by him for him and through him and for his soul glory. But I want you to understand, you who is here this morning, I want you to understand that Passover is a whole message. There are many messages in Passover. I want you to know that pastor that Passover is a message sent by God to the whole human being. It's announced that you do not you are no longer obliged to put up with tyranny tyranny, dominion and death. Death is a cruel enemy of the human beings. Death is the journey for all human beings. All human beings hate death. Most human beings 
are afraid of death except of those who receive Jesus and walk with Jesus in the communion and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, except those who are aware of the eternity, who are conscious of eternity. They're not afraid of, di of dying, but Easter is a message sent to humanity for you to know that you no longer have to put up with the tyranny of sin. You no longer have to put up with eternal death or uh, uh, eternal uh, lack of breathing, asphyxy, uh, people uh, trying to replace the void in the spirit with the care of the world, the pleasure of the world, with sex, with money, with power, with alcohol, with perversion, with depression, with debauchery. There is a void in each one of human beings which is caused by the departure of one person. That person is called the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. Easter announced that you don't have to, you no longer have to pit up, you no longer have to put up rather with tyranny of sin because the chastisement that gave me peace was put on Jesus. You don't have to flee from God anymore. A lot of people don't come to God because of guilt. Voices tell them you don't deserve God. You are too dirty. You too wicked. You too bad. You evil. You don't deserve it. You don't need to deserve God. He loves you. And that that voice of guilt you don't have to put up with that voice of guilt because jesus gave his life on the cross for you you don't need to be perfect some people are wait to be perfect they say when i'm being better when i do god i'm going to come to church yeah well, i don't say that but in order to come to god you don't need to come to church you just need to believe that jesus took your place that there was a divine exchange jesus took your condition and gave you his glorious his righteousness he gave you your, he gave you his condition of high priest don't wait to be perfect before going before coming to Jesus. Jesus is God perfection co uh, incarnated in a body. Don't wait to be perfect to come to God. Passover is a message saying, just come as you are. Don't try to impress me with a good behavior. Whatever you do is not going to be, be it's big, better for God. If you believe that lying voice that tell you, I need to put my life in order before coming to church. But let me tell you, in ICC, come just as you are because in God, you cannot be better. You cannot be good enough for God. God already took pleasure in one person, in God himself incarnated in, incarnated in one body and that Christ incarnation that satisfied God's righteousness no man can fulfill God's condition only God in a human body called Jesus Christ who who met God's requirements you cannot do it on your own Jesus already did it for you just believe and receive what Jesus did for you he gave his life for you he was not assassinated he was not killed he offered himself freely he was not taken by surprise he knew what was going to happen he knew that they were going to come and catch him he gave himself away he they told him when they catch they caught him they said i could call legion of angel i could call legion of angel to eradicate all these human beings somebody who walked on water who filled who fed the multitude who spoke to the storms and said be still and the storm obeys the bible said that when he multiplied bread for five thousand people in the book of john the jews when jesus multiply bread jesus knowing that the jews were going to come to catch him to make him king so he departed into wilderness somebody who speak who rebuke the sickness who cast out demons who kick out the devil someone who command water who command the tempests and wind and walk on water they say oh we found the guy that we need he is most powerful than caesar the emperor that used to rule over the earth they come and say jesus we perceive that you are about to come jesus said you did not understand my plan my plan is not to manifest the kingdom now i'm in the stage where i need to give my life for the, for god's kingdom to come into you 
God's kingdom needs to enter your life through the Holy Spirit. It's not time for God's kingdom to be visible. But let me tell you something. The hour comes and it has come already. He has announced that he's going to come and pick up his bride he already announced that he's coming to pick up his bride and we're going to reign with him beloved for us death is not going to be the end of life for us death is going to be the transition through the true life we're going to be we're going to put off this old corruptible body that de get degraded that use makeup you put everything you put makeup on it it still get to be degraded father grant me the grace to enter the dimension where I'm going to put on the uncorruptible body, a uh, body that is going to go through walls, that is going to be uh, moving at the speed of light. That's the body that he prepared for you on the cross of Golgotha. This is the agenda that God prepared for you and I, a life of glory. You see, you just see the premises on earth today. You just see an insight of in turn of eternity he gave us the holy spirit as a um, as a down payment as a guarantee uh, everything that you experience on earth is only a, a, a test it's only an insight of what is coming later it's a message wherever you may be passover is the first month of the jewish calendar Easter is the beginning. Christ's resurrection marks the beginning. At Passover, God, uh, Jesus invites you to a new beginning. Don't try to be perfect. He knows that you are full of sin, but you don't need to put up with the sin's tyranny. You don't need to keep a wicked heart. You don't need to have a wicked heart that's operating in manipulation, that is operating in hatred. You don't need to look like the devil. You don't need to put up with tyranny. You don't need to rule through cruelty. You don't need to be defeated by sin anymore. Another life is possible if you only believe in what Jesus did on the cross. His blood was shed seven times for you to recuperate you, to get you back. If you only en allow him to enter into your life, he's going to start walking within you. He's going to lead you. He's going to instruct you. He's going to heal you. You don't need to remain down, broke, depressed, oppressed, misused and abused. You don't have to, to, sub to, to, to subdue the tyranny of sin. You don't have to subdue the death of your soul, rejection, doubt, anxiety, guilt. Those things destroy your souls. You don't have to put up with all the tyranny of death in your soul, death of your spirit, the separation from God. You don't have to undergo death. Death is not only living, it's not only dying. It starts with infirmities, suffering, all the things that are oppressing you are going through your body in which the doctors don't understand. Sometimes doctors are overwhelmed. They are perplexed because they don't understand. They don't know how to help. They try to do their best. I remember a doctor in 1996, 1995, around 1995, I went to see the doctor. I had something wandering around my head. It was hitting my head. It was hitting me. It was hitting in my head. It, it was hitting in my head. It was wandering around my head. I told my daughter, I had somebody that is walking Wandering, wandering around my, eyes, my head, the Italian doctor looked at me and he said, I don't know, I cannot help you. And that's what doctors do. You say, but give me something, give me something to calm down the pain. They just look at you without conviction, without certainty. They prescribe you a medicine, a medication against your allergy. Without conviction, they say, oh, well, just try this. And the day I tried that medication, things got worse. It's like the things that was wandering in my head said, oh, you think the medicine going to help you? And I start, when I start using that medicine, the things that was hitting my head, like a cactus, kept on hitting my head. It was hitting my face. I was suffering. I was going through. Doctors are overwhelmed. They are perplexed. They are overwhelmed. I heard that the greatest rate of suicide, I don't know if it's true, but many psychiatrists 
are the one that commits a lot of suicide because they listen to people's stories. They're trying to counsel people, but they are charged. They are possessed by bipolar people. By they, they talk to people. They, they talk to people, and those people threaten them, and they say, "I don't understand." So when they speak, when they sleep at night, the spirit that they talk to, trying to threaten them and oppress them, and all the people that haunt people come. The the things that haunt people they were talking to come to haunt them so they get overwhelmed the whole world is overwhelmed but we don't we're not obliged to sub to undergo this there is another life you hear all the testimonies another dimension is possible and that's the message of passover jesus came to break the tyranny of sin within you he came to crush the to bruise the head of the serpent that god's wisdom jesus came to give his life he died he went down to Hades to hell and he took back the keys of death and the uh, and Hades and when he came out of the grave he didn't came out of the grave alone I'm so grateful in the invisible realm he took you and I and when he, he assigned it to heaven he took you and I within him oh thank you Jesus we ascended with him in in heaven Superman, Superman. Batman, Iron Man, all those men, Wonder Men, when they fly, they fly alone. When they fly in the air, they fly away. But when Jesus took me back, he raised us up together and made us sit together. We were in him. I see you're not, you're not excited about that. Do I have 100, 120 testimonies and witnesses? I was placed in Christ before the foundation of the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You raised me up together with you when bad men or superman take someone he just put them back on earth when when jesus rose me up with him he made me sit together with him he made me sit together with him in the third heavenly places with him and i am ruling from now on i'm ruling on earth with christ you see there is a part of me who lives in this body there is a part of me who lives in this body. I don't know how to explain it. It's a mystery. At the same time, I am seated with Christ in heavenly places and I am ruling. I'm taking authority. I have received the power to close the earth, to lose the earth, to lose the earth, to bound the earth. Whatever I bound on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever I lose on earth, it lose in heaven because I'm sitting in heaven with him. Blessed be the name of my rock. May the God of my salvation be exalted. Some body miss the opportunity to say amen i'm so grateful i'm so grateful if there was no passover the best version of yourself the picture that god already designed like Yan said, we saw the picture of the royal city. It was a construction site, but the construction site became the edifice. There is a picture of you in the invisible realm. There is a portrait, a version of you awaiting you, awaiting you to step into it that's why the holy spirit came within you there is a dimension of yours there is a version of yours that heaven is awaiting for you to put on i declare and decree that you're not gonna die you're gonna live as long as you have not manifested the dimension that god prepared for you by you the premature death is not going to take you away you are going to live and you're going to declare the works of the Lord, amen, amen, I said amen to this world, no one is going to cause me to die, when I finish my mission, my assignment on earth, I will depart and rest forevermore before coming back to rule over the earth a new earth will be created by god the new heavens will be created by god and my bible said that we will reign with him forevermore <coughs> like kings and high priests blessed be the one who have accomplished that mandate on the cross the greatest work of the cross 
the greatest achievement of cross was not physical. Everything occurred in the invisible realm. Everything occurs in the spiritual realm on the cross the man the man that caused me to sin got neutralized a new man god's seeds came at the past or at the pentecost that's why we needed the cross at the cross the blood of god in the human body needed to be shed for the sins of men to be removed the sin of the lamb god in his human dimension who was sinless who, who did not know sin god made him sin for us he needed to become sin and that the chastisement of god be placed upon him why so that the one who left adam and eve in the beginning god in this in his dimension of a spirit who never came back into man ever since he left adam needed to come back before the dimension of God come within the human, be uh, human being, the human being needed to be washed clean, needed to be purified, spirit, body, and soul. And therefore, we, we needed the blood. The blood needed to be shed to purify human being. That's what Passover is all about. It's not a religious feast. It's an invitation. It's God's stretch outstretched arms to you you're not obliged to remain the way you are do not give sin as a excuse jesus defeated sin and gave his life for you jesus god gave jesus for you all that he needs is your good will he needs your sincerity and your determination is for you to make the to resolve to make the decision in my bible says in roman 10 i'm going to read with another version in Roman, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Christ, is the Lord, if you recognize openly, publicly, if you confess with your mouth that Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved, you will be restored, you will be healed, you will be reconciled, you will be restored, you will be reestablished. With God, you will be redimensioned and repositioned if you believe in your heart. Just believe, just believe in your heart that Jesus is the Lord, the master, the owner. God made himself flesh for you. If you believe in your heart that God has risen him, you will be safe. Because with its for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever believes on him will not be put to shame. As the scripture says, whosoever believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whosoever Another version says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Who's, what, the only thing you need to do, no matter how you get in prison, no longer, regardless of how you behave, you believe you are in the prison, you are captive, just receive Jesus, just invite Jesus, confess him, confess Jesus publicly with your mouth maybe you already receive him and you don't see any change in your life it's impossible not to be transformed if you have received the word of god and if you let his spirits work within you if you receive him and your life has not changed that means that you're not swallowing you're not swallowing you are not swallowing his word because his word is like a medicine that burns everything that is wicked within you. His word is like a rock that hammer is like a hammer is like a rock that hammers. If you didn't change, it's not because it cannot change you. It's because you do not cooperate with God's word and his spirit. But if you receive him in your life and if you accept to expose 
yourself to his word to his teachings and to these preachings and if you uh, you enable the spirits to teach you even if you don't understand what the spirit says if your the spirit asks you to forgive if you is not going to just ask you to forgive he's going to show you how to forgive just obey the spirit if you cooperate with the spirit you will see little by little you will see a new version of yours coming out through the hands of the divine potter if you were here to the point e you will see your image getting progress getting better and better to the final picture god has prepared for you you are here the more you let the spirit transform you the more you let god's words bless you the more you renounce lie and make and resolve to walk in the truth the more you beseech god to transform you when he tells you renounce that sin every time you obey god's word every time you renounce sin you are making progress you say i was there now i am here you're making progress every time you hide god's words in your heart you're making you are taking another steps you are taking another steps making progress and the day will come where you're going to reach the end and enter into the portrait that god has prepared for you before the foundation of the world but you need to start with jesus who is the doorway my brother my sister so this morning i don't know i what I don't know at what level you are, but I want to invite you. Bow your head down with, bow down your head. There is no better time to begin with Jesus as the day of Passover, because Passover is the beginning of a new life. Passover, at Passover, God gave you through Jesus a new life, a new identity, a new inheritance, a new meaning to your life, a new mandate, a new purpose. At Passover, everything can start from scratch. You can start anew. I beseech you. I'm begging you. You don't have to remain wicked. You don't have to remain rebellious, bitter, in the sexual confusion and being slave to sin there is another life that is possible there's another dimension awaiting you i beseech you accept god's outstretched hand wherever you may be god is speaking to you attending church is not going to make you a child of god connecting with christians singing gospel songs are not going to make you a child of god but if you confess publicly with your mouth that jesus is the lord if you believe in your hearts that jesus died and raised up from the dead you will be saved you don't just need to uh, to you don't you don't need to connect with children of god you don't need to connect to be in this building in person to become a child of god god the father gave what was most costly to him he sacrificed his son for you jesus didn't give you a religion he gave himself in the version god gave himself to you in jesus the incarnated word that was created since the beginning of the world when he incarnated he was called jesus and the invisible word called him the word of god the sent the anointed of god the one that put an end to the tyranny of sin and darkness he put an end to the supremacy of the devil do you want to receive him if it's your case please pray this prayer with me if you have prayed this prayer in your heart i will invite you to stand and to come forward and to confess it to confess publicly because jesus was publicly sacrificed he was crucified publicly so you also need to resolve to confess him publicly publicly maybe you backslid maybe you never accept him publicly maybe you forsook the faith maybe the way you behave today is the way you behave today like somebody who never received jesus your life need to change but you maybe you need to be helped you need to be taken by the hand to be to to be shown how to grow spiritually either the spirit has quenched in your life this morning the holy spirit want to come back into your life if you receive him before pray this prayer with me i said pray this prayer with me lord jesus i heard your word forgive my sins have mercy on me
Wash me clean with your precious blood. Purify me. Come and live within me through your Holy Spirit. And the portrait that you have prepared for me and predestinate me, help me to enter it. Help me to close that portrait, to enter into that portrait. Help me to make you visible in the earth. In my generation, in my era, before I depart the earth, from this prayer, I believe and I declare that I have become a child of God. Thank you for accepting me in the name of Jesus. Beloved, if you pray this prayer, take your belongings, collect your belongings and come forward. There is no better day than this day to start with God. There is no better day than this day to start anew with God. Collect your belonging. I'm begging you. My Bible said that if you have, if you hear his voice today, do not harden your heart. There is no better day than today. Is there somebody at ICC that is standing up to praise the Lord? You cannot remain sitting like a spectator. You're not in a movie theater. We are in God's presence. So stand up and clap unto Jesus <laughs> for all the lost souls that have come back home for all the deaf that have been resurrected let's praise God for them let's praise God for them let's praise Jesus for them let's celebrate Jesus let's celebrate Jesus for them for those of you online who pray the salvation prayer, please text the word salut, salvation to the WhatsApp number on the screen. My Bible said that heaven rejoice when there is only one sinner that repents. Come out of all the rooms you may be in. Come forward, come forward, come forward. Come forward. Are you celebrating ICC? Are you celebrating the Lord? Are you celebrating the Lord, Lord? Thank you for your outstretched hands upon my brother, upon my sister. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Seigneur, merci. Lord, we thank you. Oui, dans les salles annexes. Yes, in the overflow, in the other room. I'm told that all the, 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 other, the other rooms are full. So... All the people who are in the next building, come forward. We are waiting for you. There is no better day than this day to come back to God. Passover is the best day to come back to God. Stretch forth your hands toward them as they keep on coming. Stretch forth your hands toward them. Let's stretch our hands toward them. Tu peux naître de nouveau. Tu peux tout. You can be born again. You can start from scratch and delete your previous life and going and starting from scratch, starting from scratch and living as a hero with Jesus, with Jesus as your shepherd. I'm waiting for you, my brother. The Spirit spoke to you. I beseech you, do not, let, do not look to your right, to your left. Let your ego, set your ego aside. Jesus is calling you. Set your ego aside. Come forward. Come forward so you can go back as a hero with Jesus. You can leave this place. You can start from Christ and leave this place as a hero with Jesus as your shepherd. Beloved. Oh, wow, wow. They are coming. They are numerous. Let's celebrate Jesus for them. They are coming out of all the rooms. You can go back. You can start from scratch and go back as a hero with Jesus as your shepherd. You can go back. 
you can start from scratch and go back as a hero with Jesus as a shepherd. You can start from scratch and go back with as a hero with Jesus as your shepherd. Wow. My Bible says that heaven rejoices. Heaven rejoices when only one sinner repent. I want you to understand something. God values one single soul, a single person. Because one person can change the world. Because one person can save the whole world. One person can impact the lives of many. Never underestimate. When Jesus come to live in your life, I received Jesus in 1995 through one person. Look at all the people who got impacted through my life. But God is not respecter of person. God has n- not any special elite, any special people. He's not respecter of person. That's why Jesus gave His life for you. I beseech you, if you let us help you. If you let us help you, teach you, if you let us teach you who the Holy Spirit is, what God did through me, He can do it through you and through many other people. Lord, we thank you for laying your hands upon them. Thank you for granting them the grace to know your love and to discover your agape love. May the tyranny of sin be broken in their lives. Grant them the grace to love you. Those who are sick in their bodies, beloved, stretch forth your hands toward them. Those who are sick in their bodies, those who are suffering in their bodies, there is no better day than Passover to manifest the divine exchange. May all the things that afflicted these bodies, ev- may everything that torment these bodies, because of the blood of Jesus that was shed for our redemption, for our healing and protection. May that all the things that the Father did not plant be uprooted and die to the roots. By the power of the blood of Jesus, may the tumor dry and get and die at the roots. May fibroid and painful periods die within. May the arms of the wicked be broken within. May the tyranny of the old ancient serpent be broken may the spirit of infirmity be rebuked and broken and leave the bodies to go to the dry lands may your fire consume this body from the head down to the toes and may the vigor of christ seize them from the head down to the toes may the divine lies penetrate these bodies and may death be rebuked and destroy in the name of Jesus. Thank you for revealing yourself to each one of them and making them enjoy, making them experience the joy of salvation. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Beloved, you are going to be welcome by a team called a victorious team. You, where are we going to welcome them? We're going to welcome them by the victorious, the victorious team, which is good because it's a victorious day, the victory of Jesus. We need to take your contact details. We need to keep in touch. We need to take you by the hands and help you. So I'm going to ask you to follow our counselors team. They are will. They are victorious they are nice smiling people please go to my left to your right let's praise the lord are you celebrating jesus are you clapping onto jesus in the overflow on the overflow jesus are you, you clapping jesus in the overflow let's praise jesus with jesus with shepherds i think with jesus as a shepherd rather you are living with Jesus as the shepherd. With Jesus as a shepherd. Wow. Wow. 
So, if you are coming to Impact Christian Center for the first time, you may be seated. If it's your first time at ICC, please remain standing. For those of you who connected for the first time online, please text the word NUVO new to the WhatsApp number on the screen. If you are here for the first time in ICC, stand on your feet, please, wherever you are. This is your first time at ICC. If you are here in ICC for the first time, please stand up to your feet so we're going to welcome you the way we love to do it. ICC, let's stand up to celebrate God for our newcomers. ICC. Let's go. ICC. Let's say welcome where to Empire Christian Center. Where do we tell our guests? Welcome, welcome where to Empire Christian Center. Lord, we commit our brothers and sisters. Are you lifting up your hands, ICC? Aha, uh -huh. Lord. We consecrate and commit our brothers and sisters who came to your house. Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Abundantly bless them richly to the front, to the left, to the left, to the right, behind, to the front. Lord, you see ICC gather here to worship you in spirit and in truth. Lord, you see your people who is connected to worship you in spirit and in truth. Bless us. Bless us. Bless us. Bless us. Wow, mercy. We've been, I didn't see time passing by. We've been here for three hours. Who is here to have, who is happy to have invested three hours in God's presence? Heaven needs to hear you louder. Happy birthday, ICC in the Royal City. Happy birthday. Say happy birthday to yourself, my brother. I see, see, happy birthday to the royal city. Mom, Ma Mother Maud is coming. Bless God. I see, see, we don't want to take it for granted. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you, ICC. May God bless you, ICC. May God bless you. May God stretch you. May God stretch forth your limit. Be faithful to God, ICC. May God expand your territory. May you, may you be faithful to Jesus, ICC. Be faithful to Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. Lord, thank you. Thank you for the royal city. Amen. It's been a year. Time passes by so quickly. Like Dr. J says during the women conference, it would take time. We're going to keep on taking time. We're going to bring thanksgiving to God in a continuous way for the manifestation of his glory in his life, for the manifestation of his glory, for his love, for his faithfulness in our life. We're going to keep on praising him and thanking him. That's why because we've been here for one year in the world city we want to say thank you lord can you say it louder thank you lord 
Lord, you did it. You did it. You manifested, Lord. That's the evidence that you are faithful. Sometimes we got discouraged, but God never got discouraged. What he proclaimed to the mouth of his servant, he was going to bring it to pass. We say, thank you. Tell your brother, thank you, Lord. Yes, we need to learn to say, thank you, Lord. Uh, this morning, I won this morning, you know, I, I love my wife. I already loved my wife. I'm serious. I already loved my wife. But you know, we men, life is not something physical. If your love is only physical, my brother, after your first, second, third child, it's going to be complicated because you're going to put on weight. But we men, love increases when admiration increases. When the virtues are being manifested by your wife, humility, commitment, I saw out of my wife, I saw a dimension of resilience coming out of my wife, a dimension of submission. The truth of the matter is that the royal city, if I had took on that project, that burden on me, I would never have been inspired. But the, the truth of the matter is that the Lord, somebody may be inspired, but you need somebody else to transpire. You cannot be on front facing all the challenges, the intimidation, the critiques, the slander, and at the same time being in God's presence to hear God. So I send my wife forth. I knew actually God sent her to be the sponge that is, was going to aspire everything. That's why the Bible says you need to know how to honor such a woman who takes on every challenge and stand by it's God. It's God who did it. God, we know that God did it, but God used people and people who sweat. My wife, she carried bags and boxes. She carried things that were heavy. I must confess that after, after that, she had the sciatica because she picked up heavy things. That's why you need to bless God for the price that was paid. Thank you, my baby. Thank you, honey. Hallelujah. This is the birthday of the royal city. It's our birthday to all of us. Has the Lord blessed you in this place? Has the Lord keep on blessing you in this place? So let's celebrate the Lord once more time. A place that is open to all of one, to, uh, to, all, to everybody. A place of joy, a place of celebration. Hallelujah. This place is open to all, to everybody. Next year, Saturday, April 6th, in this place, we're going to have a time of celebration. A concert called Holy Gospel. Are you aware of that? If you're not aware of that, at the end of the, when you get out, at the end, in the hallway, you're going to have all the information regarding the council. I want to bless God for the sis for the life of our sister Deborah. She blesses us. I want to bless God. She just passing through. She was passing through. She's in Paris passing through and she wanted to celebrate God with us. For those who are not aware, Deborah is going to be performing in the zenith. She's going to have a performance. Let's go and support her. She's a blessing in the body of Christ. May God bless you all. Happy Easter, happy Passover, happy Resurrection Day. Everything that was dead in your life has risen up today. Lord, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for our guests this morning. We thank you because you have gathered us here today. Thank you because you're going to bring us back next Friday and Saturday all day long for this special camp on the growth of the church from the morning in the evening. We thank you for what you are doing in us, through us, every day. Your grace and your, the work of your spirits and, the, and your word get us detached from the old version of ourselves to get us closer to the best version you have in store for us. 
and we recognize that is not done through our efforts. It's not our merits. It's simply the fruit of your grace. Where we are, what we are, what you are doing in us is the finger of God. Honor, praise, and glory be to you now and for evermore in all generation in all area in the name of jesus we have prayed with with thanksgiving amen 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 Amen. We wish you an amazing week in his presence. May God bless you. Now the pastor is blessing the congregation in different languages. Excellent. Have an excellent week in. Have an excellent week in His presence. Let's greet one another. Do not leave that way. Tell five. Tell to five. Tell five person the best version of yourself is coming out this year. Is going to be seen. Excellent week in His presence. Welcome to a world where music is becoming is becoming a best way to win soul to evangelize. Let's meet Saturday, April 6th at the Royal City for the first edition of Gospel Festival. You're going to experience a 100% live performance with the following artists, Lombo, N.K. Divine, Axel Levi, Call that music. Serve it up here. And Father Mukoko. You may register and get your ticket at the Royal City. If you get one ticket, it's going to help for the evangelism outreach. They're going to have some workshops on music and masterclass, save the day. Can you celebrate your God? It's a day of celebration. We celebrate the victory of Jesus on the cross. I rejoice. I rejoice. Because Yahweh has set me free. I'm indulging in an great joys because Yahweh has delivered me. Jesus is my joy. Are you rejoicing this morning? I, ouch, ouch. I rejoice. A joy that fill my heart. I rejoice because Jesus has delivered me. I'm experiencing a great joy because Jesus has delivered me. He conquered my heart. He gave me the victory.
I will sing with all my heart the wonders of my father Yahweh. He delivered me from all sins. I will sing with all my heart the wonders of my father Jehovah who delivered me from all sins. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to the Lamb of God. He has delivered me. Hallelujah. I will sing the wonders, the blessings of my Father because He delivered me from all sins. My Father is faithful. He will never forsake me. I have nothing to fear. Jesus has delivered me from death. My Father is faithful. My Father has, will never forsake me. My Father has paid the price because Jesus has set me free. My father is the most responsible one. He has never forsaken me because Yahweh has delivered me. My father is faithful and he never forsake me in trials and tribulations. I know that he is there. I rejoice. I rejoice in the Jesus defeated death. He defeated, he overcome principalities and power. Jesus has overcome principalities and powers. I rejoice, I'm free in Jesus. He conquered death, he conquered my heart. Jesus has set me free. I rejoice.